How about your birthday? What day of the week is your birthday going to be on this year? Does anybody want to give me your birthday? June 2nd. What is it? June 2nd. June 2nd. Okay, June 2nd this year is going to be on a Saturday. Correct. And, and he's, he's double checking. He's got a calendar. Another one. Who else? January the 28th. January 28th. January 28th uh, is on a Sunday. Correct. Yes. Now, that may be absolutely amazing. You will be able to do this by the time I finish talking. It's really easy and it's really fun. Calendar magic. Now, I'm going to give you a quarter of the year in the next 30 seconds. So pay attention. Right here. Here we go. Valentine's Day. Remember mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Everybody remembers Valentine's Day, right? It's really important because it falls on our magic day. Our magic day this year is Wednesday. What other day? The 4th of July. Can you remember the 4th of July and Valentine's Day? Right? Also falls on Wednesday this year. Next year, Thursday. Both of them. Oh, cool. Halloween. Wednesday. October 31st. Falls on a Wednesday this year. There are a whole group of days, of dates that fall on the same day every single year. Every year. And so if you remember those for the rest of your life, you will be able to come up with what day anything happens. So in 2018, the magic day is Wednesday. And it's really cool because it's right in the middle of the week. So all you have to do is go three days forward or three days back, and you can name any date. And next year, all the magic dates fall on Thursday. And last year, they were all on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It really works beautifully. And it's really, really easy. And it's really fun. All the even months are incredibly easy. Oops. Oh, first of all, there's our February on, on the 14th. So we have February. All you have to do is think of even double dates. So four, double it. Four, four. Four, four, April 4th. There we go. Good, good. Four, four, April 4th. Now, the next even double date would be what? Six, six. June 6th, D Day. It's another magic day. There it is, June 6th this year. Again, next year it'll be on a, on a Thursday. Or it's on a Wednesday this year. What's the next double date? 8 8, August 8th. There it is, August 8th. And of course, you can figure, you know, subtract 7, the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, 29th are all on Wednesday this year. And you know that, 8 8, real easy. Would be the next one? 10 10, October 10. There it is. And so the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, 24th, 31st, that was our Halloween. Confirms that our Halloween is on the 31st, is on a Wednesday. See how easy this is? You can figure out what's our next one. December 12 12. Well, there it is. There's 12-12 on a Wednesday. So now you've already gone through the even dates. Let's see what else we got here. We've got the, our, the 14th, right? February, the 7th. Like the 7th timetable, 7, 14, 21, 28 in February. Well, it's really nice because take a look at this. What's here? The 1st of March. Just like February. So that means that March is also the 7th, the 14th, 21st, and 28th are on Wednesday this year, Thursday next year, Tuesday last year. So there they are, February and March. But if you actually take a look at February and you look at about the 7th, that has to be the last day in January. Well, there it is. So the last day in January is a magic day. So 
Well, you already can figure that out from what you already know. You don't have to learn anything new. Last day of January, January 31st, is on a Wednesday. It's a key day every year. So, there you go. There's January. Now, the only other thing that you need to do is remember this friend, this imaginary friend you have, who has these strange work schedules. They work at the 7-Eleven store from 9 to 5. Have you seen the movie 9 to 5 or heard of it? It's pretty crazy. Think of that, working at the 7-Eleven from 9 to 5. Well, that date, 7-Eleven and 9 to 5, are both key dates. They both fall on a Wednesday this year, Thursday next year, Tuesday last year. There they are, 7 11 and 9 5, and they're reverses. So 11 7. The 7, November also is also the 7th, 7 14, 21, 28. And I think of it as football. November, we think of football time, and 7s are our football score, right? A touchdown. And then uh, May, that's 5-9. There's 5-9 is also a, on a Wednesday. So all you have to do is remember Valentine's Day. And the other even months are 4-4, four, 6-6, four, six, six, 8, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12. And then remember that crazy friend who works at the 7-Eleven store from 9 to 5. And you can pick up any date this year, last year, next year, just from that. Leap years after you do this for a little while, in one minute, I can show you how leap years. So you, if you have one day each month, all you have to do is add sevens or subtract sevens, and bingo, you can come up with a day, any day. And, and if you want to go to an event, if you want to go to, uh, you know, you hear a concert, there's a movie you want to see, anything that's going to happen, an anniversary, whatever, immediately. So some quick examples. I'll just I'll just do St. Patrick's Day. So let's do it together. Okay? So St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. So you know it's the seventh month. So the 14th is on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So St. Patrick's Day is going to be on a Saturday. April 15th, tax day. Well guess what? This is a nice little bonus because Four four, right? So four eleven and four eighteen. So it's going to be back three days from Wednesday. Which is a little, little little math means it's on a Sunday, which means you get to Monday. You get an extra day to get back. Enjoy this this year, next year, all the rest of your lives. Teach it to some kids because they'll use it all their lives. It's a great skill. And it works on math skills because you're doing just real simple, basic math all the time, but you get really comfortable doing it. So enjoy this and pass it on to some kids. Uh, you're a walking talent. <laughs>